everybody. How are you? This is Leslie from Scrap and Life Away, and I'm here to do a real quick book review for you. Um, just wanted to throw this up real quick. Um, I got this book from Cindy Utter. I think it was in Happy Mail. It's called Mixed Media Paint Box, and this book is so cool. I just had to share it. Um, just incredible. Just incredible. If you look here, I'm trying to not get too much of a glare because it's that shiny kind of paper. There are 52 weeks of different projects in here. How cool would this be, especially when you hit, you know, a place where you've just kind of lost your mojo? How many of that has, how many times has that happened to you? Happens to me all the time. But I thought, what a great, um, what a great book to share. I'm just going to go through real quick and show you some of the different um, lessons that they teach in here. Um, emboss, resist. Incredible. How to learn how to do that. How to collage. Um, special occasion collaging for this one. Looks like it's for a little boy's first birthday. But, you know, that's the thing. You look at this book and you're like, oh, but it's just collaging his first birthday. No, you take that, interpret it how you want to. Um, for anything, it could be just, you want to collage, you know, I like to collage and just let it be and use it some other time. Elmer's glue crackle. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now I actually prefer deco arts crackle medium, but you know what? If you don't have it on hand, there you go. Elmer's glue, use it to crackle. How to use the crackle in the background. How to faux patina. This is, these are all mixed media, um, techniques, but you know what? Let me tell you something. Mixed media techniques do not have to be limited to doing a mixed media canvas in a journal or on a canvas, mixed media canvas. Well, you know what I mean? Um, it doesn't have to be limited to that. You know, you can do mixed media on your scrapbook pages, on your cards. Um, you know, on cards, some of it may not make it through the mail, but there are some things that you can do um, mixed media wise on a card. Um, don't be afraid of it. Embrace it. I had a friend of mine. Um, she lives out in Arkansas now. She does some beautiful scrapbook pages, gorgeous pages. And she's like, I don't know how to do mixed media. Leslie, how do you do mixed media? And I was like, hey, Terry, look at your page. That's mixed media, honey. <laughs> she did these beautiful embellishments and layers and layers. And basically that's what mixed media is. It's layers of different, um, media, whether it's paper, paint, tissue. Um, oh my gosh, it just goes on and on. I digress. Water lifting technique. All right. Look at this clay pendant. Isn't that cool? Now I use, um, air dry clay that like by Crayola, this is using Sculpey. I don't know what the big difference is, except this, you don't have to put, if you use the, um, the air dry clay, you don't have to put it in the oven. Um, but oh my gosh, paper bag album, a painted paper, paper bag album. Excuse the thunder in the background. I've got a thunderstorm going on here right now. How to antique chipboard. I mean, this is all cool. And you know what? This one hits home right now because this is what we're doing for the month of October for my creative year is salvage. So this is redeeming discarded objects. And I'm telling you something, redeeming discarded objects. I have become the queen of picking up little pieces of whatever I find as I'm walking, whether it's you know, a nut, a bolt, a nail, a penny, anything, you know, if it's old and yucky, I'm picking it up and sticking it in my pocket. Um, but anyway, this talks about how to re redeem discarded objects. So that really fits for the month of October. And here's another one. This I thought was the coolest thing ever. Look at that. I'm going to try and bring it up. This is, I can't get my camera to zoom. So anyway, I'm going to bring it up as best I can. That is a book pendant. It's a pendant made out of book pages. How cool is that? So it shows you how to make a pendant 
and you could use it as a pendant for a necklace. I'm showing you like around my neck, like you can really see that. You don't want to see it. I'm dressed horribly today. Anyway, um, or you can use it, you know, as a dangle thing on, you know, this, the dangly stuff that you hang off the back of your journals. How cool is that? You could do for that. You know, so, I mean, it's masking tape background. I've done some really cool work with a masking tape background. Um, you know, it, and here's all the authors, you know, that have contributed to this book. Um, I'm telling you, this book is just a wealth of information. And I so often will hit a spot where I'm just like, I just don't know what to do. I am at a complete loss. And I've pulled this book out and I may not make, you know, exactly what they have on here, but I use it as inspiration, um, to just jump in and do, and get started. I mean, sometimes we just need that little kick, you know, to get those creative juices flowing. And this book is right on spot on. I love it. Um, I will link it in the description below um, where you can pick this up at Amazon. Again, it's the Mixed Media Paint Box Weekly Projects for a Year of Creative Exploration. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. I hope you pick it up. So again, ha I just needed to hop on here because I just thought this would be a really great, um, a great share for you. So I hope you have a great week. I hope you enjoyed what I brought to you. And as always, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Have a great week, y'all, and happy creating. Bye-bye.